Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Road Wave 3 with me of Biomega and the Kaiser Himarina. So this is 1922, we have uh, another year of peace behind us and uh, boy we wouldn't <laughs> think that based on how our finances are moving. Well actually we might, we might, um, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Now, uh, when it comes to our diplomatic situation, uh, we have um, increased tensions with two nations, uh, notably uh, Russia and France. Uh, we have high animosity with Russia and mild animosity with France. Other than that, uh, we have had a little bit of an improvement in relations with Great Britain and Italy. And Austria-Hungary, for some reason, our ally for maybe well over two decades now has um, strained relations with us for some reason. I don't know why, uh, what is the problem, why they increased the tensions uh, to four, but, you know, it happens. Uh, apart from that, the United States have really bad relations with uh, Japan and they have um, mild animosity towards them. And I guess that's all that's going on in the world right now when we look at that. Japan uh, and France have alliance with Great Britain. And that's about it. So it would be kind of nice to see uh, a war between the United States and the Great Britain if that came to pass. If the Japan would pull them in. And I would like to have a war with Russia. But we'll see about that. Either way, uh, as far as the tonnage goes, uh, we are now once again uh, the biggest navy in the world for some reason. Uh, Great Britain scrapped some of their ships, so that is okay, I guess. Uh, we are now at 509,000 tons. We added 19,500, which is almost completely. No, actually, it is completely just the destroyers because we have been building those at mass. Uh, the total tonnage of the world increased by nearly 100,000 tons, so we are now at 3,145,300 tons. And I guess that's uh, pretty much all to mention. Apart from Great Britain, everybody else um, built something. Um, actually, I kind of happy that Austria-Hungary uh, keeps increasing their tonnage significantly. Uh, they are now at 266,400 after they added 8,300, almost catching up to Russia. And Spain added 21,800 tons, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, United States also very close to overtaking Great Britain and later on us. But we know about that because we checked their economy in the previous episodes. Here's the growth. You can see that everybody is on an upward trend, including Spain, which makes me really happy. Combined tonnage, uh, we are way past the record height of uh, 1904, which is, you know, also good. Let's see where we are going to stop. And relative tonnage. Uh, so you can see that um, we sort of held our ground this year. Um, anything notable? Great Britain lost a little bit of share. Other than that, everybody seems to be doing pretty good. Spain added uh, a little bit of share, but again, that comes from the fact they have nothing, you know, so they are growing from a very low point. Economy and budget. Well, this is what I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, we had only, and I mean only, <laughs> 0.519% uh, increase of uh, budget per month. So we are pretty much stuck uh, everywhere. Um, no, we are stuck where we were. And what increased significantly are our expenses, which is kind of fun, uh, which led to the fact that our um, reserve funds uh, dropped by 24%. I'm really fed up with this because every time we have a nice increase, uh, the Reichstag decides to cut our budget or the Kaiser decides to cut our budget or something like that happens and we lose whatever we gained that year, which is limiting our expansion quite a lot. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because you guys uh, keep talking about getting a new class of heavy cruisers. I would like that. I would also like to build a third cruiser of the Valkyrie class. Uh, but just there's no money, you know, We're, we've been building these destroyers um, and okay, once we finish them, and we will actually, uh, that's one thing that I want to mention once we get to the fleet uh, composition, we'll be uh, pretty much done, you know, so one, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, either way, I wanted to say that we want to build a new class of heavy cruisers. We want to, uh, we need to upgrade our white cruisers that we have, refit them. Uh, we want to build one more battle cruiser. And there have been a lot of you that were suggesting that we start building uh, battleships. 
again, uh, I would be more inclined to look at a possibility of building an aircraft carrier, and I want to look at um, a small seaplane tender that could, f you know, be added to our fleets and um, carry aircraft for us. Uh, but again, that, that all requires money, which we do not have. So let's hope that this year will finally be the one where uh, we will see some increase, cause, because there has been a fourth line, uh, fourth year in a row when we have been below the trend line, quite significant. And, you know, you can see that we actually lost ground this year as well. So it's not great. It's not great. I downgraded us from uh, B plus to B minus based on that. Total expenses also, as you see, increased by 7%, ship cost by 13, submarines by 4.9. Um, aircraft by 0.3, fortifications by almost 5%, construction by 10%, but our um, income isn't just not keeping up with it. I mean, it was before we got the downgrade, so, you know, that's the issue. Or downgrade, the cut from uh, from the higher ups. Uh, either way, you know, stagnation on the euro budget. Research also wasn't really good this uh, past year. We have gained only a couple of levels. One in turrets and gun mountings, one in fleet tactics, one in anti-aircraft artillery, and one in shipboard aircraft operations. And that's all. And furthermore, we got an issue with the 14-inch guns who have an issue with dispersal. So, yeah, not only did we gain, <laughs> we gain barely any research, uh, levels, but we've also got a malice to our guns. What a wonderful year. So, again, no money and bad research. Awesome. Anyway, feed overview. Um, I'm happy with what we did last year in this regard, despite the limited funds that we had to play with. Uh, we have increased our destroyers to 44 ships at this point, and we are building seven more, so that's going to be fine. Uh, we've also... Uh, we didn't increase our submarines at all. We are still at 32, but we have built a number of them and scrapped the old ones, and we're building 10 more. So uh, in the area of destroyers and submarines, we are actually doing very, very well. We've also refitted uh, some of our ships, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. So generally speaking, you know, the fleet is growing. We're just um, working on the bottom levels, the submarines and the destroyers, um, and we are looking you know, we're waiting for the chance to, to build some new heavy ships. But I don't feel like we're losing uh, ground or anything. We really were just a little bit too top-heavy, if I can use that metaphor, because uh, we had always um, insig insignificant or underwhelming amount of uh, smaller ships, and now we're trying to fix it. Now, uh, things that I would like to mention when it comes to our Navy. So one thing that I'm considering is actually rebuilding Donau into a second aircraft carrier. Uh, that is, I mean, Alba would be a good aircraft carrier, but I haven't really checked that. So it's just something um, in in the back of my mind because I don't see much of a reason to keep uh, this ship around. Though, you know, it has a 15-inch guns, so it's like, I mean, but it's a lone battleship, you know, we're really not um, capable of fitting it correctly, and it's fairly small, it has only 23 knots at this point, uh, as the 1914 refit uh, did, and it cannot be um, increased in any way, so not sure what to do with that. Either we'll scrap it or we'll rebuild it. That's the only two things that I can think of. Uh, not much to say about the Rhine's Berlin's. So we've um, we've rebuilt the Leipzig uh, last year, and München is going to be rebuilt this year. After which we are going to look at Berlin and Frankfurt. I don't intend to do a massive rebuild of those, but I would like to give them some uh, anti-aircraft guns, and I would like to give them. But the director and... Oh, but we... Yeah, I have to check that. I think we have an upgrade to guns. So if we're gonna... Yeah. I just realized. Yeah, we have to upgrade the guns. So that's that's what we... That's why we're doing this major rebuild. Okay, well, forget about uh, me saying anything. We'll see what we're gonna do with them. Uh, Valkyrie, as I mentioned, I would like to build a third one uh, for the secondary fleet, uh, which would put us on three... Uh, secondary battleships, which I find fairly cool. Uh, Königs von Prussen, we started with the rebuilds. Friedrich I is being rebuilt. We're gonna rebuild all three of these and uh, relegate them to the role of secondary heavy cruiser. 
Now, uh, the Königs von Bayern are actually also a candidate for a smaller refit, but we really need a new class of heavy cruisers that would be up uh, to current um, up to current tasks that we face. So Königs are going to be rebuilt and relegated to the second fleet in the Indian Ocean, basically supporting uh, the Valkyries. And the Königs von Bayern are going to be rebuilt and uh, made as the primary uh, support cruisers of the uh, main fleet. But we still lack another class of cruisers that would be uh, replacing these as the as the primary ones, so that's something that I would like to do because eventually Koenig von Bayern uh, class ships should be in the secondary fleet, the Koenigs von Poison should be in the tertiary fleet, um, meaning in Asia, and new class should be uh, present in uh, the Baltic and Germany. But again, that's a long-term goal that our budget is not supporting at all at this point. Not much to say about Gazelles. We want to rebuild the Vibex, Hansas, and Karlsruhe's. I was speaking about the last time. We pretty much we don't have anything that we would want from these ships uh, other than what they're already doing. A new class of ship would be good, but uh, I don't really see it doing anything that these ships can't do at this point. Uh, I officially mark the V1 class destroyers as obsolete, same with their destroyer leader. G1 class, GF1 class, not much to say there, same with S1, S1Ds. Uh, the K1, so we have K1 through K16 built and we're building K17 through K23. What I plan to do is I'm planning to build K24 and K25 as well. And then uh, we are going to... Um, well, that's a question. I'm thinking whether or not we're just not going to create a new class called K24 and build, say, seven or more of them and start rebuilding the original ones. Because now we have uh, uh, the ability to build a swivel mounts with four torpedo tubes, but that can be translated into you. And we could start giving them more anti-aircraft guns and stuff like that. So it... Okay, that is actually, and that's what the Germans did. They basically had a long lasting line of destroyers and they at certain point said, okay, this one is going to be an upgraded version and they started building the upgraded version and then they built another one and so on and so on. So it might not be a bad idea to actually do that. And I don't know why I have K2 here before the general. I just noticed that there's a typo. <laughs> okay, every time there is a typo. But hey, actually, we wanted to build 20 by 1925 and we made it. We actually went way above that. We're going to have 25 by 1923. That's pretty cool. Uh, not much to say about the um, about the Corvettes. I should maybe revisit them and build another mine layer. But I'm also planning to look at the armed merchant cruiser, which was brought up in discussion again as um, a good candidate for mining um, our straits. So, you know, something to keep in mind because the, the armed merchant cruiser um is is it an armed merchant cruiser i think it's an armed merchant craft um thinking about it. either way the amc uh has the highest mine count uh from all the ships so building that one just for the purpose of uh carrying mines would be a good idea but again i want to now that basically means that we want to see what we can build as a heavy cruiser we want to see what we can build as a new destroyer we want to see what we can do as a um, AMC, and I would also like to uh, look and design a seaplane tender. So those are the tasks for this one. Sorry, I, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I'm hoping that you guys can follow my train of thought when I'm talking about this, because ideas pop in my hand, you know, constantly. So we had no increase in dockyard capacity or um, the air bases or airship bases, but we've built a couple of new fortifications and we're building another one in Germany. So we'll have two 10 inch coastal batteries there, which is um, pretty cool because we want to use those as defenses. Now, uh, there was a question what we're going to do with the smaller ones. I think we're just going to keep them. I mean, uh, you guys were right. We're basically paying nothing for the smaller coastal batteries so I can just keep them and they will uh, they, they serve very good purpose because they uh, deploy mines so even if it's a four inch coastal battery uh, it can help with the defenses and uh, mining of the straits for example in case we get blockaded again so I really you know don't see any reason to do anything with that at this point 
and officers uh, there was a slight decrease um, but not much else to say here we have a lot of uh, below average officers some average uh, a little bit of above average and a whole lot of unknowns okay so with that said i'll see you in the game with january 1922 so welcome to the game. It is January 1922 and let us actually start by investigating what we can do here so that we have a little bit of an idea at um, what our plans are. So first things first, I wanted to look at a possible... So it is armed merchant cruiser, okay. It just, you know, <laughs> sometimes you get these little brain freezes, or at least I do. Wait, no, not an aircraft carrier, a seaplane carrier. Um, so what would the game suggest? 8,600 tons, not very expensive. It has a capacity of 14 aircraft. Only one catapult though. It's extra weight, it can do 26 knots. So can you do something smaller? Yeah, something like this, that might be better. Because I would like to have something that's, yeah, air capacity 8, that's actually pretty good. Because uh, I would like to have something small as an um, escort ship for our battlecruisers. And it could have a number of fighters or something like that that would be capable of supporting us in case uh, we encounter enemy aircraft. And you would be extremely cheap, actually. So if we went and made you 4,000 tons, you have no defenses, though. That's very important to say. Mm -hmm. Could we add more catapults? So let's put port forward and starboard aft. So you have three catapults, meaning you can shoot three aircraft. Can I put... Wait. 10 aircraft on you. I can. I want you to have at least some torpedo defense. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that will work. Okay, I'm giving another 500 tons. Could we make you faster? Be good. 25 knots, but that's still fairly low. So 5,000 tons. 26. Okay, that is reasonable. And can you have some kind of defense or can I have more than two? Top side equipment limit exceeded. Ship is slightly overweight. Uh, you have not balanced. Okay, so let me delete you and put another forward center lines level mount. I think that's better. Okay, we're no longer top heavy. You have some anti-aircraft guns. Can I put you to five? Top side equipment, okay, four. No, so three and three is maximum, okay. And you have the torpedo defense. Hmm. You know, it wouldn't be better to just give you more speed. Yeah, something like this, have you at 28 knots and not even think about the possibility of encountering enemies, you basically just, you know, deploy your aircraft and go. Okay, so that would be like 17,000 K. I like that. That is a pretty good option. So let's just keep that in mind, how that would work. Now let's look at the armed merchant cruiser, what we can do with that one. 4,000, I'll go with 4,000 tons. Uh, it's actually really crazy here. Yeah, let's put you at... Can you have the mine sweeping here? No. Okay, and you can go maximum 21 knots. So you are without a doubt We can have dual purpose secondaries. It's actually pretty good. Uh, but you are without a doubt way too big. Can we give you any defense or is that forbidden? Nope, it is forbidden, so you can't have anything. 
Just guns and mines. Can you have dep dep charge for us? No. Nothing like that. Can you have... Can you have a C point anger? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Top side equipment limit reached. Okay, how about this? Okay, so something like this would be doable. I don't want to make it smaller because that would uh, remove the mines. Instead, I could just give you an extra capacity. No, okay, so just do that. You can go faster. Could we have at least one of you? Nope. Seven? No. Okay, so just six. If you made you four. Okay, something like this. So that's 1600 for four months. So that's super cheap and that would be very good for us when it comes to mines. So that is something that we should consider. And then last but not least, we wanted to look at what we could do with the K1 destroyer. The reason why I'm speaking about this is that we have 92 uh, remaining weight and I can easily just increase tubes on the central mounts. Wow, we could give you torpedo defense, but that is uh, not exactly great. You don't have any anti-air. So could I give you something like this? Oh, we can get oil. You're still using coal. Okay. That is not single. So this is fine. If I increase the guns a little bit, ship is overgunned. Mm, 70 is... Wait, so if I could add another central line silver mount with four tubes, I could actually do that, right? And all I would have to do... Mm, ship is overweight. Ship is overweight, okay. Uh, how could I... That's impulse. I don't want to deal with the guns. I don't want to lower the ammo. You're not even carrying mines. Uh, Topside equipment isn't exceeded. If I get rid of you, ship is overweight. I need to remove something for it to be capable of carrying these torpedo tubes, but. Oh god, this is bad because I, I want it. I want three of you. Uh, but I can't make you bigger, can I? I can! Okay, so I did not know that. Okay then. <laughs> so then my whole dilemma is done now. Can I get you one of these then? I can. Can I get you two of these then? I can. Okay, so this is gonna be K24. You can I can't. Okay then. So that was that was a bust. Well, I guess we're still not going to be able to build it, so maybe we'll be lucky and the game is going to give us a bigger displacement here, so if that happens, that would be fine. But this is basically what I would like to be the next uh, version of the destroyers. Increase the amount of torpedoes it's carrying and just spray and pray on the enemies. Yeah, I could remove some of the depth charge throwers and so on, but we don't, and I really want it to carry mines too. Okay, either way, so now we know. Now we know what we want, 
and I also wanted to look at our last remaining battleship and see if we could rebuild it to something because it's you know not bad. It has the 15 inch guns, it has a lot of secondaries, it even has some tertiaries that we could just refit give you an improved director and increased elevation which you know would make it fairly reasonable you would suddenly have a pretty good situation here going oh and you have you don't have catapults though so if we went crazy here and just gave it a call uh, sorry, oil turbine, then we save enough for a midship. And we can just, but I mean, look at that, it's suddenly a completely different story here. A rebuilding, yeah, we cannot install additional secondaries, but I can install additional tertiaries, can't I? Without any issues, yep. And that means I can also Additional dangerous at top heavy. Dangerous at top heavy. Dangerous at top heavy still. Tops really still? Okay, so this would be it, basically. But just for that, you know, that's. That doesn't seem like a worthy investment, you know, because it doesn't really increase the speed, it doesn't really increase anything. So if I just wanted to do what we spoke about, give it improved director, director, give you the double and add a catapult. Yeah, we could do this easily for a little bit of an investment and that would be way more worth it. So that is a possibility. Instead, we could convert it also into a carrier. A carrier speed 24 or no, no catapults. We have a reduced spot value, oil fuel. Well, you know, this would be a rather big rebuild, so we could already think about it in that way, belt, everything, you can also add some catapults, three of them, oh we don't have high deck catapults, okay then, so it doesn't really matter, our capacity, guns, complete rebuild, Increased evolution. Well, I don't think we need that. What we need though is anti aircraft guns. Yep. So this would be another option rebuilding it into a, an aircraft carrier. But I don't think you would be able to. Yep, it cannot exceed the 23 knots. So, okay, those are all of our options. We have played with the ships for far enough. So now let's go ahead and do some politicking. So let's end the turn. Let's see what the game throws at us. Battlecruiser Leipzig has finished working up. Our top spy has managed to get hold of data for the Russian Naval Patrol aircraft Mikoyan Gurevich MiG 2. Top speed 57, really? That's barely moving. And to pull off to 8. Top speed 93, combat radius 105. And Sukhoi Su 7B. 104 and 76. Okay. The press is uh, in Spain is complaining they have too few cruisers. Contra Admiral is promoted. Top spy. Okay. Intelligence report from Russia. And that's it. Okay, cool. So not much has happened in that regard. We are still rebuilding our ships. We're still finishing construction. So you guys are going to be finished. But yeah, that really is all she wrote for us. We can't do anything else. So let's just end the turn. Our ship K-19 is commissioned into the Navy. Speaking of which, I just realized we had 
Yes, we have the wipe to get active duty, so let's put you into reserve duty and we should have you working up. So again, reserve fleet. That's gonna save us a little bit of money. Not much, but a little bit. However, I think we're gonna be fine. So in two months, that's 740. Then this rebuild is gonna be done. Then this rebuild, yeah, will be fine. Okay, and the turn. We're gonna be scraping the bottom though, but some officers are concerned that we have too few destroyers to protect our battleships and cruises against enemy submarines. A recent study suggested that we need at least 11 more destroyers. Okay, well, the Austrian government is interested in buying the rights to light forces and torpedo warfare above water tubes on all ships. Uh, well, we have increased tensions, but... Um, you know, we need the money. Research breakthrough, armor development, internal belt, gradual improvement of armor quality. I'll take it. Grasping principles of improved hydrophones. Okay. And it's fine, we gained a little bit of money, which is good in the end. Mm, how about, guys, you increase my budget? You know, I'm really struggling here. We have commissioned two submarines. Two destroyers are commissioned into the Navy. The Kaiser wants to hold an international naval gathering with a sailing regatta and a competition. This will strengthen our international standing and was intentions, but the money to finance the event will be taken on the naval budget. This is not a good time for such an event. Uh, the Navy supports this excellent initiative. Okay, well... Oh my dear lord, well, that was expensive. Uh, three months? We might not be able to do that. Uh, well, actually, we'll finish you guys soon. Mm, uh, well, as I said, we are really... Really gonna scrape the bottom of the sea here. A new naval secretary believes destroyers are the most important part of the navy. He wants you to build at least 10 additional destroyers. Uh, well, we do not really need that many, but we could build half that number. Of course, sir. Budget and prestige. I'll take it. Yes, that was actually 15k extra. Torpedo technology, enhanced warhead explosives, they do more damage. Our scientists report that they are working on a problem with Daihatsu barges. I'm really interested in seeing what this one is, I have no idea. I know the name, but I have no idea. Hey, an improved model of the fighter. So, Heinko Dean has a higher max speed, cruise speed, range is heavily increased. The rest remains the same. I like that. Cool. Okay, so that saved us, pretty much. That really saved us. And once we finish these guys, we are going to design that new destroyer. Whatever the cost, we'll have to figure out how to make that happen. Okay, so wait, do we have... Yeah, we have you in active duty. You guys are working out. So let's just put you into reserve immediately. It's going to save us a little bit. Private ship building is expanding. We get another 1,000 tons of dockyard space. We've commissioned two submarines. A regional war seems imminent in the Balkans. One of our major arms manufacturers wants to step up exports to the like belligerents. We should avoid stoking the fires of war. A strong arms industry is a guarantee of our national security. Yes, do that. Turrets and gun mountings, quadruple turrets. Nice. Okay. And our best brains are hard at work studying the fascinating challenges of 3 and 4 inch twin dual purpose mountings, but there has been little progress. Cool. And we have a new torpedo bomber available. So what does that... Okay, nice. That You know, that didn't really do much for us, but it did something for us. So, we need to build 10 more destroyers very soon. So, actually, you guys are going to be done very soon. So, we can start building those. 
so I need one more month and then we can start designing like crazy. Let me look at the aircraft types that we have. Uh, we have two torpedo bombers. You are just so much better in everything. So let me just retire this one and fix it with that one. And when it comes to air groups, uh, unassign pool. How does it actually work with the ships? Because we have a lot of space on our ships. So, for example, you can carry an aircraft. Do you? Manage air group. Okay, so they automatically have a float plane. Okay, that's good. That is good. So we don't need to deal with that. They are managing that on their own. Okay, let's end the turn. We've commissioned two submarines. Our ship, Heavy Cruiser Frederick I, has finished reconstruction. And we are very close to mastering partial welding. We get a synthetic fire control computer. Nice. Reduces penalty for own ship turning. Nice. Okay, uh, so we have a couple of uh, 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 a couple of reef uh, reassignments. Russia is building larger docks. Okay, and we now have a lot of space. So let us just design the new class of destroyers. So we have the K. K1 through K23. So this is going to be a K24. And we really have to figure out how we're going to do this, honestly. Because we really just don't have what it takes, it seems. So, uh, as we said before, we want to give you an additional central line swivel mount and increase these tubes. That means you are at seven. If I add the mines, you can't get rid of them. That's where the fun ends. And I can't really give you much in here either. Could I give a different turret instead of the aft superimposed? Could I put? A midship gun instead? It would change uh, this significantly, but it would mean I can give you an additional anti aircraft gun. So K24. Oh, okay. So the change would be an, another swivel mount. And you would get... You have the director. We don't have any secondaries. And you have anti... So the upgrade is basically new anti-aircraft guns. And... A greatly improved torpedo suit. Okay, no mines though. We can't do that. If we added NA, it's just too heavy. 15. How low would I have to go with this? I have to go to 100, 100 rounds to carry the mines. And that's just not what I want. If I give you six. What about eight? No, seven. Okay. So can you carry seven? 
Okay, so let's do it this way. We'll reduce slightly the amount of rounds we have per gun. And we'll add seven lines. And that's pretty much it. So this is an upgraded version of the K1. A significantly improved version, actually. So let's save it. It's going to take 114. And next month we're going to start building 10 of those. So let's end the turn. Battlecruiser Munchen has finished reconstruction. Four destroyers are commissioned into the Navy and Kaiser wants to reduce finance. <sighs> of course. Protest energy. Okay. Did not do anything. I'll read the design at now. Okay, so we managed to protect ourselves. Oh, and we have no more build requirements, really? Okay, I'm still gonna build seven of you. So that we have 50. So that's gonna be K24. K25. K26. K27, K28, K29, and K30. K30. Okay, and we still have 3,878 available. So the question is, what do we do with that money? Now, one thing that I might want to do here is we wanted to fix you a little bit, just just a tiny smidgen. So an improved director, increased elevate, increased elevation. You have a director, dual purpose. And oh, and we wanted to add the catapult. Yeah, I forgot. Which case okay, so that's minus 21. We're also gonna have light AA guns. Oh, well, few. Yeah, but that's not what we want. We, we just want to keep you like this. There's no point in improving your propulsion because we can't make you faster. And the fact that these ones are going to be dual purpose means that you will have at least some of these. Now just a question, if you lowered this like so, would that work? It would. Ship is dangerous and dumb heavy. 16. Dangerous at top heavy, 12. Topside equipment has exceeded. Really, so 10 10 is all that we can do. Yeah. So let me just return a little bit of that to you. So, okay, that's a rebuild of 1377 per three months. And it's gonna make it protected against enemy aircraft, at least a little bit, and we're gonna get a swivel mount for sending out the aircraft, so yeah. Let me do that. Rebuild it. And be done with it, and if we wanted to rebuild another one of the Koenigs, the design for we actually... You have fire control, AA guns. So if we just wanted to do the same thing, it cost 1588 per month. Okay, we can do that. We can actually do that. Cool. So ending the turn to November. Intelligence reports that the Russian Navy has a majority of their heavy ships in active status. What should we do? Uh, 
can't just ignore it. We've commissioned two submarines. Captain Surzak Krushka of heavy cruiser Deutscher Kaiser, average aggressive, has shot Fregat and Kamen Schulze in a hunting accident. Fortunately, he's expected to make a more or less full recovery. Rumor has it that there was a some rival over a woman and they decided the incident might not have been wholly accidental. Average aggressive. Well, such things do happen and we don't have a proof, so let's just ignore that. Partial voting. Weight savings on hull. Good. Uh, we have re-equipped. Okay, a little bit of an increase in monthly balance. Don't know is going to be rebuilt. Friedrich Wilhelm is going to be rebuilt. Okay, let's put another one of you into a rebuild because we can. And we really need to get you guys up to speed. So you will take a year to rebuild. You guys are going to be done in 13 months. So that is actually a big commitment. Alba is going to be done soon. So at that point, I think we can do uh, that seaplane carrier that we wanted. Okay, so let's end the turn. We have finished construction of a 10-inch coast battery in Germany. And battery cruiser Minchen has finished her working up. One of our cruisers has run aground on the shore of a minor nation while performing an illicit intelligence operation. They threatened to impound the ship. Demanded they release the ship and send a strong squadron. Offer sincere apologies for the navigational error and offer compensation. Uh, offer sincere apology. We do have extra prestige that we can deal with. Double reduction gears, weight saving on machinery. Research breakthrough armor development, interlocked armor plates, gradual improvement of quality, more efficient hull form, reduces engine HP requirements. Okay, so we got a couple of good technologies. It's November. So let's look at. Uh, that seapoint thunder that we wanted. So, because we don't have any. 3300. Wow, you're actually really efficient. Slip amount, our capacity. Yeah, but we wanted the speed to be of at least 28. So, that is something that we need to pursue here. Okay, 4028. Four inch guns. Let's make them dual purpose. That's gonna make you way more efficient. Uh, the issue is just that now you're way more heavy. Mm, we can reduce the air capacity to. Well. Well, I don't want to though. Can you have another another catapult? Oh, you're designing it with coal. Oh, okay, dangerously top heavy. Okay, can I add one more? Nope, just those. Can I add one more here? Nope. So it really has to be just like so. Mm, okay, 28 all turbine. Oh, and it would be pretty good to have a torpedo defense. So there goes my plan. Uh, but yeah, we really need torpedo defense. That is something that we just can't go without. So now can I add three more? Nope. Can I add two more? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have three light, two medium, and these are gonna be dual purpose. Okay, if we increase them, they can no longer be dual purpose. So that is an issue. We have 145, so... I think the air capacity is pretty much all there is. Torpedo defense, could I lower? 
for 4100. Okay. Did that save us anything? It did. Okay, and let's call this one Magdeburg. Uh, let's call this one Magdeburg and use it as our first sea point tender. Yes, and you can start building one once we're done here. So let's end the turn. The Kaiser Express is concerned that our force in the Baltic area is insufficient considering the threat from Russia. Uh, so we need to move some there. Elba has finished reconstruction. Three ships finished their working up. Alliance between Great Britain and Japan has expired. Okay. Mm, we finished some of our ships. Okay, so who is in active duty? You are. And so is Minichen. So let's put you into reserve. Let's put you guys into reserve as well to save a little bit of money. And we have 2535. 2500. It is almost enough to build another Valkyrie. Mm hmm. So we have 40 here, and we have. Right, I don't see the strength here. Well, I could move most of my ships. Poor fair. Okay, let's just move you to. Actually, no, let's move the primary fleet there. We have you in Northern Europe, so. Uh, Rhine, Oda, Frankfurt, Berlin, München, and Leipzig. You guys can move to the Baltic. And I'm gonna move all of my K destroyers there. Whoa. There really is a lot of them. So, move ships to. The Baltic, any cruisers that we can send there, uh, well we can send you, Kön yeah the Königs from Preussen as well, A Ludwig 2, just, you know, to make a point. And let's send the Hansas there. And the Karlsruas. Where are you, Karlsruhe? And then here's Breslau. Okay, let's move you guys. That's enough, I think. That it should be enough. Okay. And it's December 1922, so let's end the turn. USA has completed battlecruiser Kearsarge, the largest battlecruiser in the world. Nearly 41,000 tons. Jesus Christ. Advanced penetrator alloys. Okay. Trouble grasping principles of later air launched torpedoes. Not sure what that one is all about. Magdeburg is ready for construction. Uh, not now. On for 412. Wait, are you guys working out? Or... Oh, you're considered an active duty now that you're in the Baltic. How come? Can't I not... Uh, put you to reserve. The Baltic is... Yeah, the Baltic is our own area, so there really is no point in having you... I mean, they had to move, so I understand that they were in active duty for a little bit, but... And I think we had 
some of you mothballed as well than tweet the battle cruisers. Yeah, you and you and you and you mothball. Okay, so that that does it because it's January 1923, and what I want to do now is I want to open up. Oh, Freya is actually now considered obsolete. Oh, Valkyrie, I mean. Okay, so we can redesign it. And we have, oh my god, we have a ton of weight available. So additional, I'm going to keep it at 28. That's fine, director. Okay, but you definitely need to get anti-aircraft suit. You don't have any seaplanes. Submerged mounts. So what the hell are we going to do with you? Because you have so much. Okay, now I could increase guns. That is one thing we could do here. Okay, and that is a thing that we're not going to do. <laughs> this is just... That immediately makes you impossible to work with. So let's give you 20 white anti-aircraft gun and 10... Um, medium. You don't have any tertiary guns, so could I put 10 on you and make them dual purpose? Nope, it's too heavy. So 6, 4, yes, okay, so I can give you 4, which will make you even more protected, and we still got 576. So let's give you one extra inch on the belt. Let's improve the extended belt. Give you an extra inch in the upper belt. Uh, okay, threads can be better. Extended deck? No, that's way too... Nope. Magazine box. Box protection for magazines. Belt and deck haft. Okay, no, we don't want to do that, obviously. Unit machinery. Uh, still 110. I would like to put it to use somewhere. I'm actually thinking of if I reduced you a little bit. Gave. Wait, no, that's four. I want to like this ten. No, would that work? No, it wouldn't. If I give you eight, okay, so that works. That gives us a little bit more protection as well. And you cannot have upper belt. Okay. So, come on. Really? Really? So this wouldn't count if I gave you 16, for example, you would consider that fine? Yeah, okay. Now let's put more secondaries on. And be done with it. And give you more ammo. Or not, because that is way too heavy. But like that. Okay, oh, okay. So we've increased the belt, we gave it more secondary guns, it has an anti aircraft suit, it has. Wait, does it have the. Yeah, improved direct director dual purpose. So wait, and now let's auto place everything just to make it look nice. Okay, and this is not going to be called Valkyrie, it's going to be called... Okay, let me just copy that here. Brunhilde. Let's save and finish it. Yes, and in the next episode we are going to build it. So cool, on that note I think we can end it here. We'll have enough monthly balance to fund it, I think. And we're building the K-25 
the forest through furnace. Let me just see one thing. I wanted to check if we might improve a little bit on the case that we have now. I'm not gonna do it now. They're actually overweight. So what about the S1s? Let's I could get a little bit of white AA guns, but that's about it. I mean, if I replace the machinery and give them oil, we would have so much weight remaining. Uh, but why would we do that? I mean, I could rebuild them for something like this. Nine, do you like so? Damn, okay. Fire control, director, director. Well, you can have those. Topside equipment exceeded. Okay, so, you know, this. Uh, how much are we paying for the new ones? 408. Well, it is expensive, but it would make them way more effective. <laughs> something to consider. Anyway, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, you guys take care.